Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Eliza, and welcome back to Terraria. In the last episode, we've been building. Um, so what we're going to do today as well, uh, we were working on getting some more houses. Um, that guy is fixed, I do believe. Um, but yeah, we went ahead and made the Martian conduit themed room for uh, the cyborg. We made the pirate's ducky gold um i guess treasure loot room and the steampunkers uh, futuristic like gear area uh, so today we're going to continue building uh and i think i said last episode that we were going to take a break after this episode and go fight some bosses i don't think we're going to do that i think we're just going to build for the next couple of episodes try to get it all done and then we're going to kind of go from there so first thing I want to do in today's episode is I realized I messed up. Uh, so if we look at the witch doctor's room, uh, something's not quite right. Uh, he doesn't actually have a floor. So we need to fix this. And how did I do it on the other side? Did I have a layer? Or did I just have uh, both of their like different themes next to each other? I had a layer. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, they're both five tall and they have a layer, uh, in between them of the stone slabs. So, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, this is too tall. Um... Which means we need to move the Witch Doctor uh, in order to kind of operate on his house. So hopefully there's an empty house down here and there is a couple. So Mr. Witch Doctor, come down here for a second. Let's get out our ruler so that we can see things. Oops, I didn't mean to break that white torch. So let's see, from here... It's four blocks out. Oh, uh, no, from the middle, it's five blocks. So, one, two, three, four, five. It's right here behind the pig. And let's see. Let's get at our hovercraft because. Building is hard. So five. Six, five, six, five. All right. So let's come back up here and I want to see just how is this set up. So the platforms are on the level. Uh, he's five from there. And yeah, it's. Hmm. So from the base of this guy, it is, what, 20 up to the top. So let's make sure that's right before we do any repairs uh, and try to fix this mistake that I made. But today we're, we're going to focus on building three more houses uh, for three different NPCs. It is only 18, so that needs to go up two. But that doesn't make sense, so this is seven. Oh well, I'll fix the roof later. Let's just get this taken care of. So what we're going to do is pretty simple. Um, we're going to use bone blocks. Oh, that's what's also. So one, two, three, four, five. And then there's nothing else. So uh, to do this, you need the bone wand. And it makes everything quite nicely. Uh, it's nice and easy to use. And we'll just make all this bone blocks. It looks really creepy, which is kind of the point of uh, the witch doctor's house. So now it's five in the center. Uh, I don't know why the roof isn't quite right, but oh well. Uh, so bone platforms. And we have our dresser. Uh, let's get the pig out here. So we can put this ruler away. And we need some lights. Uh, 
there's not any bone blocks there. And we're gonna throw that away just because I don't really want to have any bone, any of the bone blocks left around. So, uh, just get this. That is a candelabra. Um, and go over there. We'll put this on here. Have a nice bone table with some bone chairs. And now we should be able to go ahead and say which doctor comes back here. Cool. Perfect. That is better. Um, I just wanted to fix that real quick. It took a little bit longer than I anticipated, but oh well. Um, so today we are going to work on a couple of different people's houses. And I decided to bring up a bunch of building supplies up here just so that we have it available to us and all that kind of fun stuff. So yeah, let's get started. Um, the first person's house that we're going to build is, uh, you know what, let's see, let's do the demo first. Uh, and because demolitionist, I think, you know, probably the best thing for him would be a glass house. That makes sense. Uh, so if, if you don't know, that's that's a joke. It's a demolitionist should probably not live in a glass house. Uh, let's get plenty of glass walls. And I wonder, can I make anything with these glass? Are these material? They are. What all can we do with them? Can we make some like different colors or anything? Um, we can make all the stained glass. That's that's it. I don't really want to make stained glass for him. It's a little bit too... I don't know. I, I guess... Oh, how do I say it? I, it's a little bit too... Fancy for the demolitionist. But in order to do anything with this stuff, we need the glass kiln. I forgot about that part. Um, how do we get a glass kiln? Can we buy it? I don't know. I uh, can we craft it? Let's let's see what this guy has to say about crafting with glass. Um, all the clocks require glass. That's kind of cool. But yeah, this stuff requires a glass kiln. Um, I wish I could remember how to make it. Oh yeah, we can make waterfall blocks and that kind of stuff. Uh, if we have a source of water near uh, near these guys, so I don't have a glass kiln. Doesn't look like I do. That's a f that's ice, slime, honey, bone. All right, we need to look to see if we have. A glass kiln. I wish there was a better way to search. Uh, otherwise, I don't know that we'll be able to do the demolitionist today. You know what? We'll wait on the demolitionist because I need to figure out how to get that. And I don't know off the top of my head. I don't have my phone on me. So, yeah. Uh, something real quick. I want to look and see. Do we have... I saw some marble in here while I was looking around. I don't know if we need marble or marble blocks. But let's head up to crafting table. Um, is it smooth marble that we'd need? Marble platforms. Perfect. Uh, so I want to make some marble platforms because uh, I think they'd look nicer up here instead of the wood platforms. So we'll just do that and then marble platforms and we're good. So I think, um, I think the next one we're going to try to do is, so you don't need the marble stuff anymore, uh, just dump all that stuff in there. So I think the next one we're going to try to do is, let's see, um, let's go for the Frozen. Uh, so, uh, who is it? The... The stylist. The stylist is going to have a frozen 
themed house. I don't know why on that one. That one is a little bit of a, uh, I, I don't really know why, but why not? Um, we're gonna need a frozen door. Um, frozen bathtub. Ice torch. We're gonna get some ice torches. And I don't know if we can make ice candelabras out of that. Yes, we can. So you actually need the ice torches. That's cool. I like the frozen candle. And let's get a frozen lamp for two. Uh, let's get a frozen bathtub. That is funny to me. We're going to do a frozen bathtub. And let's just get a table and a, uh, a chair. Let's get two chairs. So, a bunch of ice stuff, uh, and then what we're going to actually build, let's see, we're going to get some ice bricks, and we're going to get some snow bricks. And we're going to use a combination of them. Um, and I kind of like the, uh, do we like the snow brick or do we like the ice brick wall? Let's get a little bit of each. And we'll kind of we'll play it by ear. We might do a like dual layer. I should probably switch that and get rid of the uh, the bone stuff and put uh, the dryads. I'll do that between episodes. So the stylus is going to go on this third floor. And I think I want the stylus in... Let's see. Um, we're going to have the die trader, the painter, the stylus, and the party girl. I think the party girl should go in one of these rooms, and I think the painter is going to go in one. Um, so let's use this room. And again, we've got a... So this is where the door uh, is not going to be. This is the exterior of it. Uh, and we're going to use ice bricks on the top. Right. So that is for the door. And then uh, we put these stone slabs. And that should work. Alright, cool. And I used too many. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use ice bricks on the top, snow bricks on the bottom. And the Sides will be I uh, will use snow for the sides. So ice bricks and that looks pretty good. Uh, and then the snow bricks on the bottom because I like the way the white looks a little bit better. It's a cleaner look than the ice and. We'll place the frozen door, which looks kind of cool. Um, see a lamp, and then the bathtub, and then a table with a couple of chairs. Um, can put another lamp there, and a frozen candle in the center of the table. Um, that looks cool. We'll put a torch over there. A lot of light in here. Uh, so can we do something like this? How does this look? If we... Nope, don't want them up there. Uh, or rather down there. So let's break this guy. And then snow on the bottom. Does that look good? Let, let's step out of it and look at it. Um, I actually kind of like that. Uh, I like the distinct like change. It looks like a... Uh, I don't know. It just looks like a different pattern. Um, gives the room some depth. I think we'll go with that. So, good enough for me. So, that is going to be the stylus as house. Um, if this was the next version of Terraria 1.36, um, 
I would definitely use web uh, spider theme for her house because that's where you find her. Um, but because we don't have that, we're going to use the frozen and it looks good. Uh, we'll just pretend she's like Elsa or something. <laughs> so uh, with that one taken care of, let's pop back down here, clean out our inventory and get supplies for the next one. Uh, so the next house that we're going to build, uh, who do we want to do? So uh, the wizard is somebody we're going to want to kind of work on. Um, let's try the party girl. So we're going to take some of this stuff and the party girl is going to get slime and bubbles. Um, and in order to get the bubbles we need to have the party girl. Okay, we don't have the party girl currently. Um, so once she respawns we'll, we'll deal with that because I want some stuff that we buy from her. So until we can get that um, we're gonna have to wait. So who else can we do? Let's see the... Hmm... Let's go with the the arms dealer. So he's gonna be a granite house. Um, now I don't know if granite is used to make... if there's a... I think there's a smooth granite. And we're gonna want mostly this. Perfect. Uh, let's get some iron for chains, and we're gonna take some, uh, I don't even know if there's anything else that I really want to make. I want to make a candelabra for this guy, so that's what we're gonna do. Make some chains, and... Uh, granite chandelier. That's what it is, not a candelabra. So granite chandelier. Uh, I really like how the granite chests look. Uh, we're gonna need a granite door. And let's see, what else can we make for him? Um, okay, the candelabra actually looks really cool as well. Uh, I would like some silk, so I need a bunch of cobwebs, which I believe we should have plenty of we have a good bit here, so let's get some silk. And... We can make a dresser. I don't really want to do that, so let's just make a bunch of silk. And we're going to get a granite bed. Um, sofa, nah. Alright, uh, what else do we want? We want something like a table. Uh, let's use a table and a single chair. Alright, so now we're going to need some smooth granite walls. We're going to use mostly those, and then we're going to want more smooth granite. Perfect. That should be enough. So, what hit me? Oh, great. We have pirates coming. Alright, so we're going to build this guy and uh, the arms dealer goes up a level um, he's with the demolitionist so right up here um, we'll go ahead and put that there so again the door goes here let's see if we can build this relatively quickly shouldn't be too bad And some granite, which looks really cool. Um, the reason that we're doing uh, the uh, demo with granite is because it looks cool, and it has a set. It's it's got a uh, furniture set, so that's pretty much the only reason. There's not really much of a reason. All right, so. The pirates are here. All right, let's battle the pirates. Um, I was hoping to finish that off, but oh well. So let's get our dragon. And yeah, unfortunately the pirates showed up. Whatever, we'll deal with them. Shouldn't be hard. These guys are very weak. 
uh, compared to our level. And hey, this is this is something different. So um, we might get to take care of the pirates. I don't know. Uh, we might get the stuff that we need from the pirates better, is what I meant to say. Um, probably not. So, um, pretty soon there's a couple things that we're going to need to do in order to farm bosses. I can talk about that um, for the for now. Uh, so one of the things that is going to be a little bit of a pain to deal with is Skeletron. Um, because you can, you're really only supposed to summon Skeletron once per like map uh, and that's just to get into the dungeon well you can summon him again similarly to how you summon the wall of flesh um, by killing the corresponding like NPC in this case the clothier uh, the clothier is was cursed but killing him is a little bit challenging um, so yeah we need to get a special item and unfortunately the 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 mobs that spawn that uh, that drop the item are really rare at this point with um, the hard mode dungeon. Uh, we need to get back to an original dungeon. So one of these episodes, we're going to create a brand new world. Maybe get a pink dungeon, which would be really cool. Uh, so far, we've seen blue and we've seen uh, our, our green. So, if we can get a pink one, that'd be really cool, but uh, the main point of it is uh, we need to get the, the Clothier Voodoo Doll, and once we get that, then we'll be able to uh, basically summon the Skeletron at will whenever the Clothier is around, and that is, that is what we want, so I actually need to take a potion. And doesn't look like we're getting much of anything from these guys. All right, another ship dead. Another ship. Uh, we should be really close to being done. And pirates are defeated. All right. Um, just grab all this stuff. Because uh, I'll probably end up selling a lot of it. Anything over here? Nope, not really. Alright, and we'll just quick stack stuff. Well, we got 50 gold from that, so it's not all lost. And let's go ahead and finish up the building. Uh, we'll finish up the arms dealer's house, and then that will be the episode. Um, got a little bit sidetracked with both uh, trying to figure out stuff and... Just in general, what? Oh, okay, we just weren't close enough. Uh, trying to figure out stuff, and then just in general, trying to get, uh, figure like, uh, trying to figure out how to get stuff and seeing what all we could actually build. And plus, fixing this guy took a little bit of time. So, back to the granite house. Uh, we'll pop down here. Let's put the granite door. And what we're actually gonna do is. We're gonna break those. We're gonna put them up here. And I think that'll be better. So, um, granite walls. This looks really cool, by the way. It's nice. It's, it's a really sharp, uh, nice looking, like, black, blue, purple color. Um, which those colors go really well together. And it looks like we need just a little bit more. Um, well, we need to go grab our ducky stuff again so let's do that and we'll make some more granite walls and everything will be good so let's see we need here some more smooth granite just a little bit and we'll get some more smooth granite walls and then uh, where was the ducky stuff I think it's in here yes just need a little bit of ducky wallpaper uh, so that we can finish up the pirates uh, with that little change. Uh, it's a change that I want to kind of keep consistent. That's that's the biggest thing about all of this is just trying to keep consistent with what we do. Uh, 
And there we go. That is perfect. All right, so everything is nice and walled off there. Uh, let's break this stuff. And now we need to set up. So we're going to put a bed in the back facing that way. Um, table in the center with a chair. Uh, we'll put the candelabra on there, which looks really cool. And then a chandelier over there. And I do believe that is a house for an arms dealer. Perfect. So that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, we didn't get as much built as I'd like, but we got the frozen and we got the uh, the granite. You know what? Let's get him a granite chest because uh, he needs a place to store all his guns and stuff like that. Um, so let's do that real quick because I, I there's just there's an empty space there that I want to kind of fix. So we need to make these back into smooth granite blocks. And then do we have enough for a chest? Not quite. And there we go. So there is the granite chest. Um, let's just pop back up here and place it. So uh, that is yet another house done. Uh, next episode, we will continue our way uh, through all this stuff and um, continue making more houses. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!